Moving on to some other stories, Olympian and shooter Manu Bakar has hit out at Air India for refusing and denying her permission to board a flight from Delhi on Friday and uh, allegedly even demanding a bribe from her. Bhakar was to travel to Bhopal for training, but in a series of tweets, she revealed that she was stopped from boarding an Air India flight and was asked to pay 10,200 rupees despite all valid documentation and a DGCA permit for carrying weapons and ammunition. The 19-year-old claimed she was treated like a criminal and alleged that her mobile phone was even snatched and that an airline official deleted pictures that she took as proof on her phone. The shooter tagged Sports Minister Kiran Rajiju as well as Aviation Minister Hardeep Singh Puri seeking their help to board the flight. Uh, after she was allowed to board, Manu Bhakar thanked Kiran Rajiju for his support. Air India, meanwhile, has put out a statement denying all these charges that have been levelled by the Arjuna Wadi shooter and said that she was immediately allowed to board after required documents were shown and that nobody sought a bribe from her. Prominent spokespersons such as Jhulan Goswami, Dhanraj Pillai and Harendra Singh Hari have also taken to social media in support, interestingly, of Air India. Let's take this across to Paulami Saha, who's joining us with more details. Paulami, good morning. Uh, interesting developments. This, you know, you've got Manu Bhakar putting out a series of allegations. We understand it took uh, the government's intervention, the sports minister's intervention to actually help her. But Air India has come out to state that none of this is true. That's right. Good morning, Akshita. Uh, Manu Bhakar has leveled very serious uh, charges against uh, Air India, and she continues to level those charges despite Air India's clarification. Uh, she's again put out a statement uh, this morning saying, uh, you know, in fact, making a very serious charge that uh, airlines do tend to ask shooters for bribes, uh, and this is not uh, something which is new. It's quite routine. So she basically says that she was boarding uh, AI-437, from uh, Delhi to Bhopal, she was going to the MP Training Academy when one of the officials on the ground of Air India, uh, on the pretext allegedly that she did not have valid documentation and permits and licenses to carry her two guns and ammunition with her on the flight, uh, sought a bribe from her. What Air India is saying is that uh, she did not have valid document. Have the mm. I did not have a stamp on a signature on my DGCA permit, but uh, since uh, January 2021, uh, uh, it's all electronic. And so you do not see a sign, a uh, stamp uh, or a signature on these uh, permits. And it's part of the DGCA rules, which the Air India officials should have been uh, aware about the changes which have been made in January 2021. Air India says she did not have the valid documentation. And what was sought from her were the charges in the absence of those valid documents. When she showed them the valid documents, was she allowed eventually to board the flight. Air India says, obviously, uh, that, you know, they have sportspersons okay. who work for the airline as well, and they have always facilitated and helped sportspersons as the national carrier. Okay. Uh, Paulami, thank you for joining us with those details. Essentially, uh, he said, she said, battle here with Manu Bhakar coming out to state that she was treated like a criminal, asked to pay a bribe, Air India denying all those allegations. Hello, everyone. This is Rahul Kamal here. Hope you enjoyed this video. For the latest news and analysis, like and subscribe the India Today YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated.